following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring at a combined weight of 648 pounds. E. Will York, Sharon Tank, Ashley, and Nick Tonga. His opponents, first, at a combined weight of 673 pounds, the champions, Hero Kitty Fool, Yosef Hatcher. Six-man tag team matches are always chaotic. Buckle up and get ready, because this one is underway. 
Don't look now, but this has all the makings of those six-man classics we used to see back in world class. exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose blended in with their impromptu tag team partners pretty well. Watch out! Buddy Bulldog! What a stop! Good grief! Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members. In the six-man match, where Dean Ambrose teamed with the Hardys against Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz, both teams worked very well together. That surprised me, since this was the first time they teamed together. But there was something that night about the lunacy of Dean Ambrose fitting perfectly with the Daredevil Hardy Boys. I've got to say, I had goosebumps for a week after the Hardy Boys returned to WWE at 2017's WrestleMania. During that six-man on Raw, Team Extreme formed an effective trio with that lunatic Dean Ambrose. After a twist of fate from Matt Hardy, Jeff crushed The Miz with a swanton bomb, and that was all she wrote. In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the New Day to do battle at the Wyatt family compound. New Day accepted, but what followed was something no one expected or will ever be able to forget. Corey, you talked about six-man tag matches, and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. The New Day fought for survival amongst the darkness of the Wyatt family compound in a battle where pickaxes and cinder blocks were used as weapons and automobiles were used as battering rams. The New Day versus the Wyatts at the Wyatt family compound was not your traditional six-man tag match, but it showed what can happen when issues between factions can't be resolved through a sanctioned WWE match. I'll tell you what, none of the men who fought in that conflict will ever be the same. incredibly motivated though. Don't expect him to be down for long. And I can tell you exactly what his partners are thinking right now. Why in the world did we agree to team with this guy? The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point. But that can obviously all change here. Irish whip! will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye or are in the midst of a disagreement. When that's the case, someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can function as a cohesive unit. This is it. You gotta believe this one's over. That's what he was looking for in a pen attack. Talked about what needs to happen when members of a six-man team have differences or had differences in the past. 
If the team can't find a way to get on the same page, they will not last very long. Someone on the team has to step up and make sure for at least that match, everyone on the team can work together. Now that's easier said than done. Just because superstars might be favorites of the WWE Universe or have a common enemy, that doesn't mean they'll get along. It also doesn't mean that any past issues will magically go away. In this business, people have long memories, so if someone sees an issue on their team, they need to resolve it right away. Harsh impact. He's starting to stumble here. Oh. He may have to start reevaluating his game plan. It's hard to tell at this point, but perhaps the unpredictable nature of this match is too much for him to overcome. I can tell you with all the certainty that he did not anticipate his opponent mounting any sort of comeback here. And it looks like he was wrong. Very wrong. He's making a statement here with this attack. This could end it in a hurry. Flatliner, man, face first. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. Tagged in. Beautiful technique. Golly, what a knee. Uh-oh. Is he done? Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. When a superstar is in a six-man match, one of the most important things to remember is knowing when to tag out and get the fresh member of your team in the ring. We've talked about continuity many times on this program, but it's more than that. You don't want to try to do too much when you have other members of your team out there. Oh boy, he is rolling. Absolutely. He's got the shoulders down. Superstars in six-man action and how crucial it is that they have the presence of mind to realize when they need to tag out. Not everyone who competes as part of a six-man team has the ability. He might have it. Healthy yeah. German suplex. Oh, on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Night. And there's his speed paying off. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams, and here he goes. who had unbelievable matches against a variety. This could be all she wrote. Oh, boy, he is winning. Gutbuster. And if he hits this, this one's over. Incredible impact. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. And that's twice now. His shoulders are down. Two. Pin's broken up. I can't believe it. The running centaur. Crushing impact. Oh, man. Looking for the exclamation point. Oh, what a slam that that's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match. Pins broken up. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. He's playing with him now. Oh, man, what a hit. He's right off the apron. What a stop. Good grief. Gets
gets the tag. There are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos, and all six superstars duke it out inside, and many times outside the ring. It's complete and total chaos. But if you it might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. You talked about the moment in six-man tag matches when all semblance of order breaks down. Many times the two teams are so determined to tear each other apart that they don't pay attention to who the legal person in the ring is or where the referee is in their 10 count. That's a huge mistake. In the throes of battle, superstars lose their composure in what was it. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Six of WWE's most alpha personalities all competing in the same match. There's a good chance this one ends deteriorating sooner than later. Oof. Tagged in. So close to making it, and he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Looks like he's starting to falter. This is not where he wants to be right now, guys. Sounds to me like this crowd's a little shocked to see him on the receiving end here. And you know what? I kind of am too. Don't run him off just yet, guys. From what I see, he's got a pretty evenly matched at this point. When this guy's on, look out. He's too quick for him there. No reverses it. He's going for it all. This could be it. Oh, high impact. This match might be over, guys. Uh-oh, pump handle applied. What's coming next? Nelson Driver. That has got to be it. What a six-man tag match. And here's another glance at these superstars in action. Who could forget this? He ain't messing around. Oh, I can't believe this. Still can't believe I get paid to watch this amazing action. Here are your winners. Hero, Kiki, Fool, Yosef, Hatcher, and Tom O. Hero. Could have gone either way there for a while. Wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. And the crowd here tonight still in awe over that great match.